Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, Frontline Changes Report. And uh, the first thing I want to go through, of course, is the Adiafka front. Again, yet another day, yet another frontline change at Adiafka. The lines are breaking and uh, the is really collapsing uh, if you have a frontline change on a daily basis at this frontline. So uh, there is a frontline change in the north. Uh, when I already say that it was uh, pretty far away, uh, pretty close to the road, they expanded further. The Russian forces have expanded their control in this area here. In fact, this time around, they are, they are moving in the direction of where the reinforcement is supposed to come. So let me draw the arrow better again. Uh, where the reinforcement is supposed to come. And uh, this is awkward uh, because the Russians are actually pushing back the counter offense, the counter attacks. Because clearly the the Ukrainians are sending counter counter attacks in this area here, and the Russians are literally just pushing back them at this region here. So this is the situation, and the front line has now reduced to merely two hundred meters, two hundred meters. So is uh from the road. So this this vital of uh, road is almost unusable right now. Uh, because 200 meters is very much well within the assault rifle uh, range so it's, it's pretty much a, a high danger to use the road so reinforcement and resupply to the rest of the adfk front within the adfk city itself will have to go in another way and i think because of the situation happening over in the, this northern part the southern part is now uh, breaking apart uh, because the, the russians have made progress uh, from this southern neighborhood the russian forces have actually pushed out across the railway line and I kept uh, capturing the northern part of this uh, small little village and the Russians from the Opine region are also pushing out away uh, out of this region here and moving in a pincer of salt uh, they are heading towards each other and uh, this Ukrainian uh, outpost uh, at this uh, former air defense uh, position is definitely going to be in deep deep trouble because uh, as you can see, this is a pincer and that they will be totally encircled and they'll be gone. And there is not a lot of way left. They are only ha having this forest and this main road to use and the Russians are here. So I'm not sure what the Ukrainian uh, forces that is uh, at this position is supposed to do. Uh, they have no way out. So that is kind of uh, shitty. So uh, so moving on to uh, other frontline changes away from the ADFK front we have over at Novo Vodian. So uh, yesterday I've mentioned about uh, this uh, Svetovy front, a uh, frontline change with the uh, Ukrainian forces uh, taking more grounds, uh, taking these grounds around here. Uh, immediately they have uh, given up the, the claim over this area here. The Russians have taken this entire forest region here. Uh, however, they are keeping the rest over here. Uh, and this is actually co corroborated with a geolocation of Ukrainian forces at this position, uh, Ukrainian forces is geolocated here. So clearly they have the southern part of this entire forest region, but the Russians have taken the northern one. And uh, yeah, another case where Deep State UA uh, claim and disclaim in the space of a day. So uh, this is Novo Vodian, uh, over, this Novo Vodian is over here in the Svetovay front. And uh, Svetovay is here in case you do not know. And the other frontline change is over at Boyeda. So uh, at Bojeda is actually south of Marinka. This is at the Donetsk front. This is Marinka, and uh, and the Russian forces have been geolocated to be attacking uh, Bojeda or Bojeda. And uh, so the the Russian forces is geolocated over here. They are they are launching an assault uh, at this position, and uh, so this actually confirms that at least this is the front line. It's unclear if the Russians have held position at this tree, uh, this tree line around there. So. I'm gonna assume that this is still a gray zone for now, uh, but but this is actually the the advancement of the Russians are, and they are really pushing in many many directions. The last frontline change is over at Yampolivka, so uh, so Yampolivka is over at the Kremlin front. This is Kremlin, and uh, at the Kremlin front, the Russian uh, the Ukrainian forces have uh, launched an attack in the area of Yampolivka. Uh, this uh, this geo location uh, at Yampolivka, the the Ukrainian armored vehicle was destroyed at this position so this is similar as the boyeda situation that this simply extended the gray zone which which means the two maps will be overlapping because this is a geolocation of the front line so there's no indications that the, the destroyed apc or the 
IFV, the infantry fighting vehicle, would mean that the Russians take over that position. So this is going to become a grey zone because the Ukrainians are spotted there, but the Russians are not. So, so this is the uh, frontline changes report. And uh, so, uh, thank you for watching. Do press the like button, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next update. Get access to the full report, the full set wrap by becoming a DPA sergeant or officer in DPA Patreon, Boosty, Locals or YouTube membership. Thank you for your support.